What's going on guys today? I'm here to show you how you can make up to $500 a day just by using Google Maps. And I can tell you nobody's talking about this method and it is completely free to do. You don't need to invest any money up front. You don't need to have any special equipment. You can literally start making money as of right now. But you wanna watch this video until the end because I'm going to be guiding you step by step. And if you're subscribed to this channel, you know the drill. I click, you click, I do, you do. And by the end of this video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip where you can get other people to do this for you so you can keep the money coming without having to do much work. So if you like to make money online or just make money in general, I highly suggest that you subscribe to this channel because I post 24 videos every single week on how you can make money online, make money, apply for jobs, all that kind of good stuff. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, YouTube is not going to send you my new videos with these new money making topics. But now that you've subscribed to the channel, let's get onto the video. So the first step that you need to take in this video is you need to go into Google Maps, right? So you have to go into Google first and then you go type in Google Maps just like I did right now, as you can see on the screen. And the first link that's going to pop up for anyone typing Google Maps in Google is going to be the Google Maps official website. What you want to do is click the first link here as it's highlighted in uh, purple in my computer. Just click the link. And after you click the link, it's going to show you this map. The whole map is probably going to show you places close to where you live at the moment. And what you need to do is you need to look for service based businesses. Preferably, these businesses need to be close to where you live. It's going to be easier for you if it is, but it doesn't have to be. OK, you can look for dentists you can look for plumbers, you can look for accountants, dentists, uh, chiropractors, all those brick and mortar businesses, they need people to do what I'm going to show you right now. So that's what you want to be looking for. So after you log into Google Maps, what you want to do is you want to search for those service based business that we talked about, right? So in my case here, I typed in plumbers, New York, I don't live in New York. But you know, I just to show you guys that it doesn't have to be near where you are. It's giving me a list. What you want to do now is you want to click more businesses. After you click this button, it's going to show you a map with lots of businesses in it. After all of these red dots that you see here on the map, those are all plumber businesses in New York. Just bear in mind, I'm just giving you a example. It does not have to be in New York. It can be wherever you want. OK, and what you want to do is you click more locations and it's going to show you the map. Like I told you, you don't want to be looking at these first ones that pop up because probably these ones that are in the top here of the list, they already rank high on Google. They already know what they're doing. Their business is verified so they don't really need your help most of the time it's not going to be like this 100 of the time you could even take a look if you wanted to but you know most probably they don't need help anymore these businesses up oh, you can see this one just proved me wrong this is the first one on the list it doesn't have on my business which is something that we're going to talk about right now but you know if you search for a business and nothing pops up on the top of the list, then you can just scroll down. Are you, there's like infinite pages that you can look for businesses. OK, what we're looking for is a business that doesn't that has this thing here. When you click on the business, it says own this business. You're looking for this question here. Basically, what this means is that the business hasn't claimed the business on Google. So anyone can claim this. Th their business is literally up for grabs, right? So also, this is a really good example because what you want to look for is something that some business that doesn't have too many reviews. And this one only has three reviews. They're five star, but it's only three reviews. And as you can see from their pictures, it's not really great. You know, they don't have good pictures or anything. They don't have a phone number. They don't have a website. They don't have anything. They just have the, literally the name of the business and where it is. Just bear in mind, you can do this from anywhere. It doesn't have a specific country. It can, it can be in your country. If you live in India, if you live in the UK, this can be in any city, anywhere. There are literally millions and millions of businesses worldwide that need this kind of service and you don't need to be physically anywhere to do this. You can literally do it from the computer. And like I said, in the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you a way that you can get other people to do this work for you. So you only keep the money coming without having to do any of the work. OK, now this is an example of a business that you don't want to be looking for. These are the businesses that you're going to avoid when you look for businesses to do this method with. This is a business that has 54 reviews. It's 4.9. They have pretty good reviews. They have a phone number. They're verified on Google, so they don't need your help most of the time. Time. They only have one bad review, as you guys can see here. They're all good to go, pretty well set. They're also ranking high on Google, so they don't need your help. What you want to look for is the other business. This one that I showed you, it doesn't have anything. You want to look for businesses that don't have much information, don't have much reviews and uh, don't have good pictures. This one is a very good example. It has 21 reviews, but you know, still they have bad reviews. They have bad pictures and they're not verified. So the reason why you look, want to look for businesses that are not well ranked on Google and that are not verified is because you can help them 
rank higher on Google and get verified so they don't run the risk of someone claiming their businesses on Google. So if you type, let's say Plumbers New York and you go to, you can see here, when I type in Plumbers New York, the first three that pop up is the most likely to get hired by someone. As you guys can see here, this third one here, has 705 reviews and they're pretty good 4.7 so what you want to do is as you guys can see here as well winnie plumbing and heating corporation is they're ranked on the second page so you have to go to the second page scroll down to find them so they're pretty much hidden right they have 21 4.1 reviews they don't have much information and they don't have good pictures and you can easily help this business in a lot of points here and basically what you want to do is you want to reach out to this company you, you want to reach out to this business and you want to be able to sell them right you want to be able to you know get them on the phone or send them an email if you want if you get them on the phone what you basically want to offer them is you want to say like you know i can help you verify your business you want to explain why because people can claim your business if you don't verify the business i can help you rank high on google so you'll have more uh customers Customers, much more customers I can help you get better reviews on Google so then people will trust your business more so since these guys don't have a website listed here I'm gonna try to click here to see if it takes me anywhere and um, which it did right so what you want to do to reach out to these companies is uh, most of the times they will either have their email on the bottom of the page on the footer or they're going to have a contact page in uh, as you can see here in the contact page they have their phone uh, they have their email information and what you want to do is you want to take this email right here and you want to send them an email or you could call them like i just said you can offer them oh i can fix this 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 i can fix your listing i can make you rank higher on google i can help you post better pictures on google and this will get you more customers this will get you more exposure and you can you know at the end of the day make a lot more money by doing this right so it's a no-brainer for them most of the businesses out there they have no idea how to do this and they always hire someone to do this and you can charge anywhere from 300 to 500 dollars per business to do this for each one so what you want to do is you can either take this email here write it down and send them an email or you can give them a call and tell them that you can help them out and if you're going through the email route a good way that you can get their attention is you can come here you can take a screenshot of this page right here and what you want to do is you want to open the screenshot and you want to fix it like this you want to emphasize their businesses is not showing well on google and the way a way you can do this is you can add some kind of arrow or some kind of rectangle colored showing them on the screenshot showing that their businesses are not well ranked on google and the way i'm going to do it here is like this i'm going to put a rectangle here i'm going to add this arrow here showing that their business isn't verified they don't have good reviews and they don't have good pictures right and also there are all these businesses ranking on top of that them and I'm going to show them that they're here down at the bottom okay so you're gonna save this screenshot the program that I used to do the screenshot is clean shot X and I believe that if you use a Windows computer running Microsoft you can use basic paint the paint that comes on Microsoft you can use paint to add some arrows and you know rectangles to your screenshot just to send it to them and what you want to do is you want to save this screenshot and you're going to send it to them and you're going to say basically what I just told you to say you're going to say to them I can help you fix let's say you're going to look at the business that they have here on Google and you're going to see what's missing in this case what's missing is a email address a website you know there's the website you can click here but they don't have it listed so you can verify the business for them just this service alone you can charge 300 bucks for it uh, you can verify the business for them you can add the email you can help them uh, give them hints on how they can make better pictures for their businesses and you can also help them rank better on google and get better reviews basically you're going to tell them all that in the email and send them the, the screenshot and also include your contact details so they can get in touch with you another thing that you can do is you can do the verification of the business for them for free or you can charge very little to do it because when you do this they're going to be grateful to you and they're going to want to work with you in the future that's going to get your foot in the door so you can have an opportunity to fix more expensive jobs that you can do for them so in the case of this business here you can help them fix their website you can help them add some features that are missing to the website you could give them hints just the website is a two to three thousand dollar job alone you don't have to know how to fix a website i'm going to show you how you can pay people you know less than a quarter than what the business is going to pay you to do it to do this for you right so you can pay someone like 
50 bucks to do service, this business is going to pay you two to three thousand dollars to do, right? You could also act as an agency for them. You could hire someone on Fiverr to do their ads, right? You could do advertising for them. And that alone, you could get like one to three thousand dollars every single month acting as a middleman to do their advertisements. Now, the way you do this, the way you get other people to do this job for you is you go into the website called Fiverr and you type in optimize Google My Business and you're going to find like lots of people charging like 25 to 50 bucks to do this job. Off the bat, I can see that this guy here is charging 25 bucks. So when I click on his ad, he has 216 reviews, five star reviews. So obviously he's really good, highly responsive and charging 25 bucks to do a Google optimization, right? This is all you need. You, you could hire this person out, do it for free for the business, or you could just charge them the price that the gig is charging. And when you do this for them, you're going to get your foot in the door to work with that business. And then you can fix their website, run their ads, optimize their listing. You can ask them to take pictures and then you can upload it to their website for them. And they're going to pay you a lot of money to do all of these jobs. And if this money-making method still isn't enough, you can click this video right here that I've prepared for you with another money-making method. And I'll see you on that video. Work hard, play harder.